Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Zephyr for Jira tutorial, we are going to learn how to create test cycles in Zephyr for Jira. So before we get started into the test cycles, let me walk you through this particular page. We have already seen the test process in Zephyr. So in Jira project, these are some of the test processes that you can follow. The one is simple test process, test process with basic execution planning. So depending on how much planning you do, you can choose a particular sort of test process. When we talk about simple test process, it is basically, you know, you directly go ahead and start executing the test case. You pick a test case and you execute it in the ad hoc mode. Okay. But that's not what we want to basically um, formalize as a standard in, in large organizations or if you're working in brick projects, you would be most of the time following the structured test process. So if you're following the structured test process, then we have to structure the test cases or even with the in terms of execution we have to make sure that we execute the test cases within the test cycle right so if you see here we first you know like um, uh, set up the test cycle yeah, this is more of a structured execution planning and then we you know create test case and we, you know assign those test cases to those test cycles right and then we execute the test cases within the cycles so that's more of a structured approach then uh, in uh, the next one is again a structured uh, test process wherein you have you know you organize the test case properly which i'll cover uh, anyways how you can organize the test case um, by adding you know different version label etc and folder structures etc then in the planning phase you prepare the test cycle so let's go ahead and understand how you can prepare the test cycle so that we can add the test cases into test cycle and start executing those okay so let me go back to the project here now i'll go to the zephyr section here and if we go to the uh, cycle summary here so in the planning and execution go to the cycle summary and in the cycle summary so once you are in the cycle summary you will see create new test cycle Okay, so to create a new test cycle, you simply click on create new test cycle and it will ask for the version of the cycle, test cycle. So you can, you know, um, select whatever version. So at the moment, there are no versions as such. So it goes into the unscheduled. But if there are versions available, I'll, I'll create the version and I'll show, show you the version section as well. But as of now, I'll simply add the name of the test cycle. So I'll say um say for example v1.0 we are doing some uh, release uh, 1.0 and we, will, we are trying to execute some of the test cases uh, regression test cases for that version 1.0 release okay so i can name it as v1.0 regression naming convention follow as per your you know company's guideline or the project guideline you provide the name there you provide the description if there is a specific build that you are testing against say for example 1.5.23 if you have the build number you provide the build number if there is a specific environment where you are trying to test it uh, then you can provide the environment so for example i want i'm testing it into um, sit environment or system integrated tested uh, test environment uh, what is the duration so for example i uh, need to execute uh, this for two weeks so this is two weeks regression cycle then i can choose the duration okay so as of now i can simply say two weeks and then click on save so once i'll save you will see the success message and you will see the regression cycle test cycle has been created successfully if i click on it you will see all the details of uh, this particular test cycle are available here along with the build environment who created it um, and then once you have the test cases within it if you are executing the test cases it will give you total execution time um, uh, and all other details for this particular test cycle right if you want to you know uh, say for example you want to delete this particular test cycle in the right hand side of this particular test cycle you have this three ellipses if you click on it you can add the test you can add a new folder so below this i can below this cycle i can say um, i can say ui test say for example okay so i can add a folder below this particular um, cycle so you can see now the folder ui is available below this particular cycle 
to structure all the regression test cases that are related to UI component or the user interface can be added into this particular folder. So this gives you more, you know, a flexible approach and uh, a cleaner look and feel uh, to organize your test case, right? So now I can add all the test cases that are related to the UI into the UI folder rather than having all the test cases into just this particular cycle i can structure them within the folders okay so i can add the new folder i can add the test cases directly to this particular cycle or add in the folders if i want to edit this particular cycle click on edit and it will open the same window edit cycle window and i can edit the, the details that i want to edit okay i'll cancel it as of now then um, you can clone or move this particular cycle okay so i can say uh, move if i click on move then i can move this cycle from unscheduled to any particular version so if there are any you know unreleased say for example at the moment there is only unreleased and unscheduled so i can move this particular cycle to a specific version which is another very important feature so for example um, i have created this cycle but i want to move it to another you know version or release i can select that okay uh, the next important thing is around the clone so cloning what it helps is say for example i'll simply clone okay so it will create a clone of the exact similar cycle with all the details there okay the next important thing is export so if you want to export the test cycle you can select the type so you can select the csv or html or xml um, and then export the overall regression or whatever test cycle right that has been uh, available so once the export is available you will see that the details of the test cycle if i open it have been imported into the csv format right so you can see all the details are exported let me add a couple of test cases there so it's more clear so let me say for example here i'll add the some of the test cases so click on add test now adding the tests within this particular test cycle i can add individually by typing in the test or via the search filter or by another test cycle okay so i'll cover this adding test cases in detail so don't worry about that i'll simply you know just say i'll type in some okay so i'll pick you know a couple of tests there right if you want to assign it to a particular person i'll simply assign it to myself and add this so now these two test cases will get added to this particular folder which is part of the v1.0 regression test cycle All right so you can see tests added now i'll close it and these two test cases are added right now if i you know clone this we clone it we create another test cycle and now if i let me open this folder again so there are two test cases i have cloned this particular cycle if i open this particular cycle here and go to the folder those test cases will also be added if you clone right so i have cloned that particular test cycle and the clone test cycle has all the test cycle details and the test cases also being added so I don't have to add those test cases again and again, right? Now, let me try to export these cycle again and show you the export details. So let me export to CSV and see what all details are being exported from the test cycle. Okay, so let me open this particular CSV file. So here now you can see that you know this particular execution and all of the cycle you can see that the clone cycle and the test cases that are being added into the cycle are also being exported right so this is what the export does so if you export the test cycle it will export the test cases that are being added along with the test steps within right so you can export the test cycle let me close it in order to delete a test cycle simply go to the ellipses and click on delete button here and it will ask for the confirmation for deletion are you sure you want to continue click on delete if you want to if you're sure and want to delete and you can see the test cycle has been deleted successfully right so these are some of the brief tasks that you can you know do 
in order to create the test cycle and what all edit and delete configuration is available for the test cycle. Then there are two more um, features here, download feature files and upload Cucumber results, which is more of a, uh, when you are working with the BD features, then you can work on these two. You can download the feature file directly from here, or you can upload the Cucumber result, which we'll cover, you know, in later tutorials. So that's all about uh, the creating of the test cycle in Zephyr for Jira. And the other important thing is around, you know, the, uh, sorry, uh, the, the released or the versions that you see here. So in case you are not seeing the versions here, most probably it's because the versions are not being created in the, you know, project for your project. So if I go to the project settings, let me create the version and I'll show you the release and uh, versions here. So in the project, uh, I go to the versions in the left hand side and in the versions, I can create a version. Okay, so let me create quickly. So I'll provide the name here. So let me say 1.1.50 something like that. You can provide the description if there is any start date or end release date um, for the particular version. So for example, you are releasing every month, you provide the start date and the release date for that particular version provide the description and click on save. So this will add a uh, version 1.1.50. And now if I go back to Zephyr, I should be having that version available into my test cycle. So I can map my test cycle to a particular version. Okay, so let me open it. So now here I am in the cycle summary. And now you can see 1.1.50 version is available. I have ad hoc test cycle by, by default, wherein I can add the test cases randomly and execute those. But I can also add or create a new cycle, test cycle for this particular version and I can execute all my test cases for this particular test or this particular version. Okay, and I can also move this particular or any other test cycle that I have created let me show you the move thing now as well as we have added the version so I can select the version so say for example this is the cycle I want to move to version 1.1.50 and I can choose that and click on move and you will see the test cycle clone v1.0 regression will be moved to this 1.1.50 right so you can see that this particular cycle has been moved from unscheduled to a particular you know, version that is available in this particular project. Okay, so this is a brief introduction of creation of the test cycle, how you can move a test cycle to a particular version or how you will be, you know, uh, categorizing your test cases for a particular version and how actually you will be doing a more structured approach to your test execution within your project. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Please do share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.